Welcome back, everybody, to another Dokkan Digest, where I take all the news, drama, and fun from the community, and I bring it over here to you guys on YouTube. This is an extremely disappointing video that I, I never thought I would have to make, and I've been asked by multiple people like the Truthy T and some of the other YouTubers that I have circled around in the community to make videos like these discussing things that happen in the community, and it's something that you guys have to watch out for. This is a thread going over everything that had happened in the polarity situation going on Twitter. At the time, I wasn't able to get everything because I was actually on my way to a trip spending time with family. So all the information by the time I actually got to it was pretty spread out um, and I had no idea what was going on. So this is the whole situation with polarity in one little thread here going over a lot of the more notable things that happened. I, I think I got all the bases down there. Ha I have been messaged privately about some of the screenshots. A lot of them aren't anonymous, but I will bring those up at some point in the video we'll see i just want to say that this video is not going to have my opinion in it whatsoever this is just a way for me to bring you guys everything that happened all in one place so here it is it says on march 28th 2024 at around 12:03 p.m howard appell and another anonymous member of our group chat happened to come across a comment from truth's video at the time it seemed like it was just another unhitched comment with no basis for the claims made clearly and in the screenshot it is basically just appell sending the screenshot of the comment which we'll read here in a little bit and also however saying i don't understand you know it's just like us making fun at the fact that this is just an unhinged comment right by the way this comment comes from somebody named trufuria which we later find out is actually pretty well known to some people so our anonymous source right under us talking about this unhinged comment or halberd and Appel talking about the unhinged comment someone says oh my god trufuria and that rings some alarm bells whenever I went back to look at this. This this rings some alarm bells in me because I don't know who Trufuria is, but a lot of these people who are, are pretty well established in the community know who this guy is. So through the entire thing, they're talking about how Trufuria is hard to make mad, blah, 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 blah. Like there's a lot going on with it. Later, just minutes later, Howard made a post insinuating that there might be more to this comment and to polarity than we thought. And in the comment, it is just... Howard saying that there may be another villain in the community. Yeah, it, it, it was a bit surprising for sure. Now, before I get into this next bit of the thread, I just want, want to say at the time, we had no idea that Polarity and Honeymane had any sort of affiliation with each other. And that is exactly what this thread is about. It's about the Honeymane situation. Polarity is going through some pretty harsh grooming allegations, which is, is uh, very, very uh, serious. And that's what that initial YouTube comment sort of insinuates. Soon after we received this image from our anonymous source confirming that Polarity and Honey had some sort of affiliation, this was in response to Appel sending the YouTube comment in the group chat. At the time, this was all we had confirmed. And in the screenshot, it just says, Honeymane is an edgy teenager or something for sure, and Polarity does take his advice very seriously. And to a lot of people, that's not going to ring any alarm bells. But to me and to Halbert and Appel, as we talked about this, all the pieces aren't connected for you guys just yet, but as we talked about this in the group chat and tried to connect some dots, it made a lot of sense and it went away we hoped it didn't. The message explains that Polarity takes what Honeymane says very seriously, ringing some alarm bells in our heads. And it's just, uh, the screenshot is just basically Halbert saying, actually being on the strings of a teenager, grown man. This is just more stuff coming straight from Polarity himself, talking about him and Honeymane. Uh, and, and this screenshot, it says, I also don't know whether my opinions are honeys, whether I'm just trying to be different from Honey or what. I do not know what or whose opinions are what. Honey is literally the Jesus H. Christ of Dokkan, and I'm Saint Peter. I then say these messages don't seem to be that alarming without the context of the comment made on Truth's video. So the information we had gathered, Halvard came to the conclusion that something was off. And it's just Halvard saying, the second one is quite literally something Honey sent to him and told him to put in whatever server that is. You can 100% tell a narcissist wrote that, which makes me wonder, what does Honey have on polarity? At around 2.27 p.m., Halvard sent this. As you can see, I was confused because he had told me he was engaged a couple months ago. In this screenshot, it is basically just another YouTube comment saying this clown polarity slash dreamed and Honeymane were dating for a long time before they got banned from Trufuria's Discord and Twitch, by the way. Honeymane is also a minor GG's. And you can see in the screenshots that a lot of us are like pretty, like, we don't take the allegations super seriously. I don't want to say super seriously. I, I just mean, we didn't really think of it as anything crazy. 
because there was no proof behind it and i don't like just dissing people without any proof behind claims made obviously once we had a little bit of proof and we kind of confronted polarity ourselves and we got that we were a lot harsher about the situation which we will see in the next tweet just a few minutes afterwards i ping polarity in another discord asking him if he had a fiance I had no idea his fiance was Honeyman at the time, and that's why I said lovebirds in the screenshots. And in these screenshots, it's basically just me asking if Polarity has a fiance and him saying yes. As you can see, I mean, it was a gift, but he was instantly suspicious of me, especially during this last little part here. Um, I'm just asking him questions and like, you know, he says that they're engaged already. Uh, like I said before, Honeyman turned 18 in September of last year, 2023. So they're already engaged. He also tells me that he's known her since February of 2022 uh and they met in a discord server so like right now alarm bells are going crazy in my head i had no idea that honeyman was the fiance throughout the conversation you can see that he was instantly suspicious of me which i found to be very weird keep in mind i had no idea about the first comment on true's video until after this conversation when i looked through my group chat so i say this is the mistake i was talking about earlier i say this um what i meant was i didn't know that the comment existed until like way after right this conversation polarity leaked the comment to me himself and then i went back into the group chat and looked that's what i meant to say i worded that completely wrong like i said i was out of town with family so i wasn't trying to be like too out of that with them out of that experience with them so i was really quickly making this thread so that way i had all the information gathered for this video uh so forgive me for that i'm sorry about that but it just says the the screenshot just says oh heck no i haven't even known her that long oni this was super random any reason you asked so he sends the screenshot of the comment and says that there are pretty heavy hefty allegations against him in the truth's comment section and the fact that polarity is even like hyper focusing on this you can tell that he is very hyper focused on this one comment which says a lot to me uh so in this thread i say more chat logs like i said i had no idea about the comment until he told me himself it seems to me like he hyper focused on it and i, I even bring that up in this thread uh, because throughout the entire thing he is consistently talking about it so uh he says now i have some allegations against me stemming from an old community i was in i sent some question marks because like i said i had no idea that these screenshots existed or what allegations were being made until um actually I, that's a bit of a lie I knew I knew that allegations were made against him, but I didn't know about this specific screenshot about him uh, or against him that he sent right here. Right. I had no idea True for had said anything about this guy. I did see the one comment that however it had posted and that's why i asked him about the fiance and he sends me the screenshots he says it's from the truth comment section we have a screenshot of polarity saying no we did not start dating until september of 2023 Howard asks wait how old are you even and then polarity responds with 22 right now however then says and did you know honey like prior to dating or and polarity says yes we had met in a discord server uh so you knew her then before you were 18 before they were 18 but didn't start dating until they were 18 and then polarity says correct we just played pokemon showdown talked about dokkan and watched nba games i made a tweet addressing it can't have people thinking the wrong thing unfortunately as of the making of this video polarity has deleted his twitter account so i can't really bring up this tweet in the tweet it says I saw this comment in the comment section of the Truth DT's video. I did get banned from Truforia's Discord server, a Twitch streamer. Me and Honey have not been dating that long. Only started in September of 2023. Let's not get it twisted. You can ask her as well. You know, at the time, no one was really labeling him as a pedophile. All it was really is grooming and him saying that he waited until she was 18 to start dating and then actually got engaged. I don't even know when, uh, but they're engaged now. Uh, and keep in mind, she hasn't even been 18 for like, she's been 18 for like maybe seven months or something like that. Uh, it, it has been quite, it, it has not been that long uh since they've been dating uh and they're already engaged later after he made that tweet he hopped in dms with me to send me uh to kind of explain further what was happening keep in mind i had to tell him ask him about the honeymoon situation because that's the allegation that really meant the most to me the truforia thing was because i told a viewer that was giving him money at the time to stop giving him money and said because he made fun of him after saying his brother died in chat that was something that didn't really matter to me i was more worried about the honeymoon situation and polarity says yeah i know i should have not been trying to control where that person's money was going i grew from it but i did not get banned for it so i mean to me he's very clearly skirting around the actual main allegation that i was worried about and i said i'm more worried about the honeymoon stuff what's going on with that and he says that's just when we had met we we're not dating like i said we started dating after she turned 18 in August in September. That was in 2023, by the way. So she turns 18 in August. 
They start dating in September. And then I just say, Polarity, that does not look good. And he says, I'm aware. I'm not entirely sure how to combat this, though. We're just good friends. Um, and I say, I'm not sure how you're supposed to handle the situation or what steps you need to take. I'm not going to help you come up with anything like that. That isn't in my, you know, that's not something I'm, I'm, I need to do. And he says, I'm not either. I'm not a pedophile or anything of the sort. I would never take advantage of a minor. That's just disgusting. And I say, okay, all I'm saying is if you have anything to show, you need to show it because, you know, proof obviously of this kind of stuff is important. If you're going to tell me that you were just interacting in some innocent way and not provide me any proof, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm not going to take the claims very seriously. And I want you guys to keep in mind that nobody's really, nobody was really calling him a pedophile at the time. In fact, until he made that tweet, nobody even knew those comments existed. Uh, and then he says, I'm going to nip it right now. Now, going on Twitter to make a post about it doesn't blow out of proportion. So, yeah, it's uh, it was a little it was a little rough following that polarity tweet. Karma comes out with pretty damning evidence on on his case, and we'll go through his thread as well. He says, I'd feel horrible if I kept quiet about this, so here we go. He says, this is where we'll start, gathered from True For You's Discord. SATs are taking in high school, meaning that we can get a general age of Honeymane, 16 to 17 at the time. Nothing to bat an eye about, but there's more to it. And it just says, it's just a, you know, a screenshot of Honeymane saying, I just took an SAT test, and now my back hurts, SMH. The timeline here is a little crazy, but Honeymane goes ahead and just like responds to Polarity's tweet. And it's basically just Honeymane saying, this is a bunch of nonsense, all of this fake outrage over something that was not that serious. Polarity has never asked me to do anything with them. Come on to me or force me to do anything. The people we talk to know nothing is going on. This girlfriend slash boyfriend thing meant absolutely nothing. All we have done in VC together is play Wizard 101 and talk about Dokkan. I will agree the fact that we called it anything more than that was a mistake. We have been nothing more than good friends. Also, they have never DM'd me and asked me if it was okay because anyone that was involved knew nothing has happened between us. They just hate polarity, nothing more. Following the polarity tweet, Minato actually made his own thread going over everything and his response to it. Um, so we will read that really quickly. He says, this response is not enough. If anything, it proves the mistake you made in entering a relationship with a minor. I saw Honeymane made a statement, but the main issue is that you as an adult chose to move forward and enter this situation. Honeymane can state nothing happened, but we can never prove your intentions besides the fact that you decided to enter a relationship with a minor. And it does not even make sense to do so if you had no feelings it reads to me that you later decided you did not but at the time there was a possibility or else you wouldn't have gotten into the situation in the first place at all regardless of everything you made this decision as an adult and this response is not enough to prove any innocence on your end saying all of this with no documents screenshots etc proving otherwise and instead of just saying yeah i entered a relationship with a minor but i didn't do anything romantic is just an awful response especially after waiting all day so after that thread this is just me clearing some stuff up i do have a lot more that we need to go through i said before i end for this for now one thing that was wrong were the ages of polarity and honeymane at the time just to clear things up honeymane was 16 when she first met polarity 17 at the time they were dating and now 18. so here is halvard's quote retweet to his own post the one that was you know basically calling polarity a villain it says this was about polarity no i did not withhold information to make a joke post the reason i didn't say anything beyond this point was because we weren't sure yet you don't just actively toss names slash allegations around without some proper digging first we don't crucify the innocent which is why we had to make sure if he was or not polarity was our friend i publicly stuck my neck out in support of him in the community obviously before we knew any of this so we were all inclined to give him the benefit of the doubt we had told him to give us proof to the support of his side and we got nothing. All we've gotten is things from other people confirming the worst. A lot of you act before you think. To add, we asked Polarity to go back into the chat logs to prove his innocence. We had got this response in the first image. The second image is what he's been doing all day. Earlier, it was Fortnite, now League. It's like he doesn't even care. Last thing, I do want Polarity to be innocent. We all do. There's absolutely no reason to wish for someone to be a bad person because it begets some memes for a week. The issue is that he himself has to prove it. He has shown no initiative to do so. Ignant right underneath that says he was questioned, said he'd get the evidence against it, and then instead of hopped on Fortnite and League of Legends for hours, then Karma found stuff against them. So here is Karma's initial thread, the one that we talked about earlier in the video. I'm going to discuss everything that's happened in it now and give you guys all the proof. 
like I said before, all the screenshots and everything will be up on the screen, so that way you guys have your own chances to read it as the video goes up um, and form your own opinions, whatever. So Karma says, here's the next screenshot. As you can see, it is dated in September of 2022, as opposed to what Polarity said of 2023. Honeyman refers to Polarity. He went by streamed prior to this. Will be important shortly as her boyfriend. 9 12 22 is when the screenshot was dated i've gotten multiple perspectives on the story as i know that false accusations could ruin someone's entire livelihood their names are blurred for privacy reasons though i doubt either of them would mind speaking up about it in these screenshots we get multiple perspectives from some anonymous sources in this one we he says I don't know why he changed names, but the initial fallout was just him getting gassed by Honeymane. He started hanging out with Honeymane to the point he said they were dating, which everyone in the server agreed was weird considering Honeymane was a minor and Steamed was like 20. Basically, nobody liked Honeymane and so they left. Then Steam, trying to defend Honeymane, said a bunch of rude stuff in regard to all of us and said that his friendship with us was unreconcilable. In this screenshot, we get, it was one of the main reasons why I cut ties with Steamed and Honeymane. Being slandered and betrayed and hurting all of the friends they made in the community is one thing, but pedophilia is a whole different ballgame and where I draw the line no matter what. I could have ruined his life back then and seeing how he is lying on Twitter, I should have. In the thread again, he says, here is another screenshot as said prior, streamed is polarity. Another screenshot from earlier September, so we can date this happening around early September. And the screenshots aren't really conclusive to the whole polarity stuff. It's just another thing going through polarity's character or steam's character at the time whatever you want to refer to him as it doesn't really matter i'm um, calling him you know a human piece of garbage manipulative etc it doesn't really have anything to do with the honeymoon situation here we find out that polarity has true foria blocked on twitter and like basically everybody in the discord as well um which can ring some alarm bells to everyone you know maybe he's just trying to avoid everybody or hide stuff that is not up for me to decide although it does seem that way and comes across that way to me polarity says he is 22 meaning at the time of this incident their ages were roughly 16 to 17 allegedly at the time of the original incident honeymane had just turned 17 so this means polarity had to be around 20. keep in mind this screenshot is the first known mention of them dating 9 11 22 we don't know if there ha they had been dating prior to that. While possible, it's not a fact, but I felt it necessary to pull out everything I found. I doubt messages that is this heated had no surface behind it. Again, reminder that steamed is polarity. Again, the screenshot isn't really conclusive to the evidence that we need to prove whether or not polarity did this situation so i'm not even really going to show it it's just another character thing you know calling polarity a bad person etc etc it's just another person doing that uh, in another steam conversation for the sake of the video i will add it into the other screenshots that are showing up on screen but i don't necessarily see a point in doing that or reading it out loud multiple people have also said that honeymane was a minor at the time of this happening and in this screenshot it's basically just karma trying to figure out whether or not you know honeymane was a minor at the time or even right now um, as we know, prior uh, past this, we, we know that Honeymane is 18, um, and at the time, they're around 16, 17. With that said, that's basically all the information we have right now. I went back through some of the screenshots uh, from the messages, and it was all the stuff that we have on Twitter. But before I end today's video, there are going to be a couple things that I want to talk about. This is something I didn't bring up in the initial video, but when Polarity first made his response, I replied with this. I basically just asked him, number one, when we asked you for proof earlier, we wanted screenshots of yours and Honey's DMs at the time, 2022 to 2023 around the time when Honeymane was 16, 17. I'm pretty sure uh, 2022 was 2022 was uh, 17. I then say, number two, I need clarification on this. What is the story behind it? And what led you two to start interacting this way if there was zero romantic feelings of the sort for her? And that is in reference to Polarity making a comment. Like I said, I can't pull it up right now because he has deleted his account. But it was in reference to a comment Polarity said where he had zero romantic feelings. They had zero romantic feelings for each other. It wasn't anything serious. It was platonic. Whatever. And while this evidence isn't conclusive, I ask, why did you change your name and identity if you felt like the only thing you had done was stopping someone from donating to a streamer that doesn't line up to me? And through this entire thing, Polarity and Honeymane had refused to provide any information on the subject or proof or screenshots or anything to kind of show Polarity's innocence. Because, I mean, I, I like I said, I'm a guy who, if you're going to come to me with claims or accusations of somebody, provide evidence, which we had a lot of in, in opposition to Polarity 
similarities in his takes. While we had nothing on Polarity's side to help defend himself, we had actually nothing to go off of. So if you want to clear your name, you need to provide evidence. This post and even Honey's comment means nothing unless they have those messages from 2022. We have screenshots of Honeymane talking to Karma. Um, and while I hate to leak private DMs, uh, it is important um, because Honeymane straight up says that she was 17 at the time and dated Polarity when he was 20. So it's a bit rough. That's all I have to say today. That's all the information I have gathered. I will be posting, putting up everything that I have talked about on screen for you guys to read. So go ahead, feel free to pause when you need to, to read the comments uh, or not the comments, the screenshots and, uh, you know, form your own opinions. I, like I said, I am just here to give you guys the information. With that said, I hope this helped spread the word a little bit and gave you guys at least a brief summary of what happened with the polarity and Honeymane and the grooming allegations. So with that said, guys, thank you so much for watching uh, and I'll see you all in the next one.